believe to keep love and God first, I think evidence is all of those things, like how to keep your family and your teachers and your ancestors ever present in everything that you do. Jack Walsh and I started meeting maybe five years ago when he showed me plans of the building saying this is where the theater space is going to be, can you see what's available and then I even came in here when it was kind of raw and see how it has even changed. Part of this partnership with uh, Brick we've decided to have this community component which is a free class either at Ingersoll Community Center or here at Brick. So one of the new dancers, Taylor Jones, I worked with at a camp. And I pulled him and I said, oh man, this is incredible. I had the chance to work with Ron when he was creating a piece that we're actually performing here at Brick. And so ever since 2008, I've kept in contact with Ron. At the same time, the company has an apprenticeship, and so we had a recommendation from an alumni at Howard oh, this guy Sherman, he can apprentice. I did the internship with them, and this summer, one of my friends, Tiffany Quinn, she was also in the company. She told me I should come. I said, okay, let me, let me talk to this guy and see where his head is. And then I just got a job from there. They are talented beyond measure, but what else can you bring other than the fact that you can dance? Because I need you to speak. Certain pieces, like Two Year Old Gentleman, has to do with the aspect of how well the men in the family stay together. That piece alone ties into politics, it ties into everything else that has to do with the black community that's going on today. I feel like it's a place where uh, your spirit can be free, and so I think it's a great opportunity to show that we are in this together.